do a primer today for the iReal Pro app, show you some cool things you can do with it. I'm just going to go ahead and tap on it here and bring it up. So I've been using this app for a long time and there's a lot of great things you can do with it. Um, I'm going to start off here, but you can look at the song list there on the left. If you go to the left bottom, I've got songs, playlists, forums, and more. So if you've never used this app before, you want to go to forums first. And then you see all these different groups that come up here. I've got 2,968 jazz charts. I've got all these bluegrass countries. Since we're doing a lot of bluegrass, I'll click on the bluegrass. And then that's going to bring me to this window here. Um, probably the best ones to load up here are the Parking Lot Pickers songbook, 216 songs. I'm going to pull that up by tapping it. And then here, I've got to scroll a little bit. I want to find where it's highlighted in blue. See where it's highlighted in blue there with the 216 next to it? Here's all the individual songs, but I want all the songs. So I'm going to click on Parking Lot Pickers. It's going to bring up Song Playlist. I'm going to click Import Playlist. Okay. Then I'm going to go back through. I'm going to go up here to the top and hit the back button right next to the... Um, arrow that's next to the home there. Now I'm going to click on Bluegrass 300 and same thing where it's highlighted in blue I'm going to click on that import playlist. Now I've got a ton of tunes here that I can jam along with. I'm going to go down to the bottom left songs playlist forms. I'm going to go to the playlist and now I'm going to go through and then here's all my playlists but at the bottom you can see where those loaded parking lot pickers and Bluegrass 300. So I'm going to go to Bluegrass 300, and uh, let's do a little bit of uh, Bury Me Beneath the Willow was up. Let's go ahead and pull that one up. So I'm going to scroll up here, Bury Me Beneath the Willow number 44. I'm clicking on that. Here comes the chart. Now before I start this off, I want to go, now I'm going to go to the right side here, and you can see in the bottom where it says uh, Pop Bluegrass 20 or 220 for the tempo three times through and then the G major. So I'm going to click on the G in the bottom right and that brings up my key. So if I decide to capo up second fret, I can go to the key of A. If, um, if I want to sing in a key of D, I just click on D. It transposes it to the key of D. Um, really useful tool there. I'm going to go right next to that where it says one time through. I'm going to go seven at a minimum, but probably 12 times through. Because if you think about it, you're going to have um, three verses, three courses. You're already up to six there. Um, you want to take a couple breaks. So maybe nine will be enough for you. But figure out how many repeats you want and put those in. And then to get out of any of these screens, I just click the, the spot next to the, you know, click anywhere on the screen and it'll drop that. Now I'm going to go to 220. Um, some of these grooves are in 4-4, four, four. some of them are in cut time, so I really need to listen to it before I figure out what this is. This is most likely 110 in cut time, so I'm going to just leave that alone for now until I listen to it. Now where it says pop bluegrass, I'm going to go to that, I'm going to get rid of that bluegrass groove. I am probably never, ever, ever, ever going to use that bluegrass groove. It's absolutely horrid and gives, doesn't give you really um, the information you need. I'm going to go to the country groove. Uh, the country groove is nice. It's got a really nice generated bass line. It's got a drum kit that's going to give you kind of a, a, a feel of a glorified metronome. Now I'm going to go down bottom right. See that little guitar chord chart? I'm going to hit that thing, and that's chord diagrams. I don't need those, so I'm going to click on it again and make it a go away. But I'm going to go down here to this three uh, horizontal lines. That's your mixer. And you can see I've got this piano thing turned all the way down. This first instrument here is always an arpeggiated instrument, and it's pretty obnoxious. I haven't figured out yet how to make it a pad or how to make it uh, whole note chords or something, which would be more valuable to me. So I just get rid of it. I want this bass pumped all the way up. That's one of the best things about this program, in my opinion. And then drums, I'm going to bring up about two-thirds of the way. Reverb, that if you like it... it you, you know, halfway. I mean, everything sounds better with reverb, right? Embellished chords, I'm going to leave that alone. I'm scrolling up here. I want my count in. I, I can go no measures, one measure, or two measures of count in, or auto, which sets it according to the tempo. I'm going to go duration two measures of count in. 
and I'm going to leave these alone. The click is set for a rim, and click 2 is set for a rim. That's a drum sound they're referring to here. Then I'm going to go ahead and touch the side of the screen again, make that go away. Uh, now I'm going to hit play and see what I got here. I can go back to the mixer if I think the drums are too loud. Bring them down a little bit. So that might be pretty quick. That's definitely not a slow jam tempo. So I'm going to drop that down to, um, I don't know. Let's try 115. See if we like that. I'm going to go here. Usually you have to hit the stop button for it to reset, but sometimes not. The stop button is the square button. The play button is the triangle. So... That's basically how to get in there. Now, if I like Bury Me Beneath the Willow, I'm going to go to the upper right-hand corner. There's that share icon with the arrow. I'm going to tap that, and I'm going to go in here, and you can see it says share chord chart, share audio, record, add to playlist. I'm going to go playlist, and now I'm going to make a new playlist. Obviously, I've got lots of playlists here, but I'm going to go to new playlist at the bottom. I'm going to list it as practice two. Then I'm going to hit done. Good. And now when I'm practicing, I'm going to go ahead to the upper left hand corner where it says playlist. I'm going to click that and that takes me to all my playlists. And then there it is at the bottom practice too. I'm going to click on that. And then as I put them in the keys I want, I can add them into the folder and then I don't have to search through all those songs all the time. I can make my favorites. So, so basically, you want to load in your song. Go back to playlists here. Parking lot pickers. I go and pull up. Uh, let's do another one. Let's do boil and cabbage. And then um, pop bluegrass. I'm gonna change it to country. I'm gonna check my groove here. Take that first instrument out. Get that bass up. Put this through your uh, Bluetooth speaker if you can. I'm going to turn the reps up to at least 7, somewhere between 7 and 12 reps. Make sure I'm in the key I'm going to play it in. Check my tempo, see if it's too fast or not. That's definitely not a slow tempo, so I'm going to bop it down to maybe 15. Here we go. Yeah, then you're going to bop, 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 boom. Good. So I'll do another video where I play along with this a little bit more, but that's basically how you should start off uh, with using this app. And you got tons of music you can download back in the forums there. You could see all the other styles of music as well. Um, you can pull in all this Western swing um, stuff. There's tons of jazz and Brazilian uh, charts in here as well, holiday music. And then if there's something you, you need specifically, hit the... Um, the search icon there and that'll bring up the search window and you just go ahead and type in whatever you want to type in there um, so like I don't know let's see if they have sounds of silence yeah and then I go in and then I can see it there right up top sounds of silence so I'll click on that then I can pull that in import song so Anyways, uh, have fun with it. Thanks. Um.